know anything about this, being that I'm an Amazon woman at 6'1", but Christopher Anderson has proven to us all that it's not a tall man's world. Take a look at how this 5'7", junior guard from USD is making his height work for him. Christopher Anderson was born to play basketball. That's just what our family does. We all play basketball. So just coming out the womb, basically, like, it was I was going to play basketball. His older brother, Jeremy, is six foot two. His younger brother, Nick, is six one. Christopher stopped growing at five foot seven. But Christopher Anderson was born to play basketball, so he wasn't going to let a height disadvantage stop him. The Andersons played pickup games constantly, and that's where big brother Jeremy taught his little brother not to back down. I remember going up for a layup, and he just took me out. He just found me hard. I fell super hard on the concrete. Got up and I'm mad and super mad, like trying to fight him. <laughs> I, I can't beat him up, obviously. That just gave me the fight, you know, like if I can go against my brother and go after him and challenge him, then I could do it against anybody because, like I said, I looked up to him growing up and I thought he was the best. I think he just uh, gave me a lot of confidence because sometimes, obviously, you're so short playing against all these tall, gu tall guys, you would get down on yourself a little bit, which I did, but. Uh, he just told me to keep pushing, keep working, and uh, that's what I did. In high school, Anderson played his way to an Orange County Player of the Year award. But when college coaches started coming around, they had doubts. They all said the same thing. Oh, you're a great point guard. You know how to lead a team, but you're too short, you know? Like, we can't, we don't want to take a chance on that. You'll get it posted up, take advantage of. San Diego head coach Bill Greer saw something else. He decided Anderson would be a perfect fit for his team and offered him a scholarship. What I really liked about him was the way he was with his teammates. You know, he was enthusiastic. He was always picking them up. I just felt like he was so positive with his team that that was something that we could really benefit from. He wasn't afraid to take a chance on me, you know? I wanted him to know that he made a great decision, you know? And I, I think he knows that, and I, I just keep battling and keep trying to get better for the team, for him, so we can win more games. When you spend your basketball career looking up at players that are bigger and taller than you, you've got to figure out another way to get around them. And that's exactly what Chris did, and that's how he's been able to have success at the collegiate level. He's just so talented, so quick. Um, so much great, so much ability that, you know, the only thing that held him back was being 5'7", and he hasn't let that hold him back here at all. I just had to learn how to be more tricky, kind of, say people are pressuring me. I'm so small that I, I can sliver through the littlest spots, I can split screens that nobody can really split, you know, so. I just try to get as low as possible as well, like I'm already low to the ground, if I get even lower, who's gonna get that low with me, you know? Now a junior, Anderson has started all but the first seven games of his freshman year, and has become a standout player in the West Coast Conference, which comes as no surprise to anyone who knows him. No one questions Chris's ability on this team. He believes he's the best point guard in the, in the league, and we all believe that on our team. We feel like we have the best point guard in the conference. He's definitely our best leader. Um, this is his team, um, and he's done a tremendous job with it thus far this season. I play with a chip on my shoulder because that's just how I am. People underestimate me. I'm so small. That just gave me even more motivation to work even harder to prove people wrong. With the spotlight on him in San Diego, Anderson now has the opportunity to be a role model to those who were also told they weren't tall enough to play. God made me this short for a reason, you know, to do something special. He gave me these talents to, uh, to show everybody that you can be this size and you can do something special, you know, and I, that's why I just tell there's a lot of little kids, a lot of uh, friends that come to me like, Chris, how do you do that? Like, I'm so small, too. I'm like, just keep working. I mean, there's no need to give up. For the WCC this week, I'm Amanda Blackwell.